Hey there Funko fans, today we're going to crack open the Hot Topic Mystery Box. So as you can see this is the horror themed box, just came out today and I had to rush over there to go get it. So there's some cool stuff in here including possibly finding a chase pop. So before we get stuck into that, Quick update on the giveaway. So there's the SDCC 2018 Glow in the Dark Thor. That giveaway ends in a couple of days, so you're going to want to check that out if you're in the US or Canada. And then coming up, we also have a number of others. We have Venomized Black Panther, Marty McFly, Iron Man, and Pennywise with severed arms. So those will be coming in the future. So stay tuned. So back to the horror mystery box. I had to rush over to Hot Topic today, pick this up because I was worried they would sell out. Not sure if that's a well-founded concern or not. And they asked me which one I wanted because they had them stacked up near the counter. And I said, pick the one with the chase. So hopefully, they had a good intuition about this and got me a chase. So how do we get into this thing? Like so. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. It opens in the front. So how are we going to do this? We'll do it like that. Okay. So I don't want to reveal the chase. So just a quick peek here at what's in there and then we'll dig into this stuff so we get Friday the 13th mystery mini okay so let's crack this one open all right what will we find inside here we're going to get this Jason Voorhees bag mask or something else I'm not sure what to expect so we get a little blind bag here and let's take a look if I can get this open. Okay, so pull out. Yes, what the? Okay, there he is. Got the eye peeking out. Looks like he's got a giant fork there, pitchfork. Got his jeans and his farmer outfit on. No head movement, so it's just a figure mystery mini. Don't actually have too many mystery minis. I think the only other one may be some of these Deadpool things. Alright, so that is number one. Does he stand up? Yes, he does. Next up, we have... What is this? A keychain. Ash versus the Evil Dead, which incidentally I'm way behind on this. I started watching season one a fair while ago, loved the show, thought it was hilarious, but things got busy and I could not keep up with it. I think they're now on, what, season two, season three? I'm not sure. Leave a note in the comments if you know which season they're up to. Let's take this guy out of here. That he has the chainsaw arm. Yes, he does. There he is. There's Ash. He's ready for business. Tackling the zombie hordes and other creatures from hell. Cool pop. And a little keychain attachment there. Alright. Then we have this guy. This is the Beetlejuice plush. So this one will probably end up in my son's vast collection of stuffed toys. He's actually seen the movie, I think he enjoyed that. He's at the age where he can appreciate these things instead of uh, them scaring him half to death. So, like the mop of hair there. And the little floppy legs and arms. That's pretty funny. So that is the Beetlejuice. Pop him up over here if he'll sit still for a minute. Probably not. Let's put him up against there. 
Alright, what else we got? Just a pop. Okay, so this is a leather face from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Pretty woman mask. There you go. So I don't know about that. Looks pretty hideous to me, but let's see if we got a chase. No, we did not get a chase. But here it is, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Hot Topic exclusive leather face. There's actually another leather face pop you can get. I think this one looks better. Um, what is there? Just uh, a regular version and I think... I don't know if it's a glow in the dark. If you know about that one, leave a note in the comments. Alright, let's take a closer look at leather face. <laughs> okay. So Beetlejuice did not want to cooperate. That's fine. Look into my eyes. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> so we've got a bizarre skin mask here. You can see stitching on there. I don't know, did he stitch it onto his own face? That's pretty weird. We've got a chainsaw. Looks like he's he's quite well dressed actually. He's got a tie on, bit of a gash on the leg. Is that an indication of something that happened in the movies? I think so. Not that I've seen any of them, but he is a famous character, so everybody knows about this guy. Nice head movement there, spins all the way around. And what else? Nice mop of hair. And Let's take a look at the paintwork. So we've got some redness in the cheeks there. Mask has a bit of a tear underneath. And some hideous stitching all the way around. We've got some makeup eyeliner there. Yeah, so suitably creepy pop. And you will see this guy make an appearance in the skit. I did not do the skit at the beginning of the episode because I did not want to spoil whether I got a chase or not so now you know and we shall see what happens next so let's see does he stand up yes he stands on his own so still not terribly stable maybe we'll lean him up against Beetlejuice there okay anything else in here that is it so that was the Hot Topic Horror Mystery Box. Is this something you are planning to pick up? What do you think of this thing? I know there's a bit of mixed opinions on this. Uh, some people love it, some people hate it. Some people are indifferent. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more pop unboxings. And we will have some more horror pops coming up soon. I've got a bunch in the backlog to get through. So as we get closer to Halloween, I'm expecting there'll probably be more. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching and see you around. Whoa, where am I? Oh, hello, ma'am. I'm lost. Could you happen to tell me where I am? <laughs> Never mind. You must be anxious to get back to sawing wood. I'll be going now. Very odd. There was something off about that woman's face. Ah! <sighs> I just had the most terrible nightmare.